this is just a small film just to show you the the new Aurora buff and DSV. Uh, later I'll be doing a small barrel service just to show you how that's done for general maintenance just to keep it running smoothly. This buff I designed for the use with a standard Apex XTX regulator range. Nothing has been changed on the regulator so its servicing is and can be done just like any other Apex regulator, the same parts. The only difference is that the exhaust valves have been removed and there are special fixing plates to allow it to be firmly attached to the DSV body. This plate here is a bubble exhaust plate which will push the bubble slightly to one side while you're diving to stop them coming up in your face in the open circuit mode. The difference between this BOV and most other BOVs is the mushroom valve positions. You don't have the normal system where the mushroom valves are situated at the end of the barrels. They are actually angled valves within the inner barrel and fixed in position. Their position cannot be changed so you cannot reverse the flow once the direction of flow has been manufactured. This particular one is a left to right flow, so it's good for the Inspiration, the Aurora, the JJ, etc. If a right to left flow is required, then it's a change that has to be made at the manufacturer of the inner barrel. The flapper valves are a little bit more complicated to change than normal flappers, but not, uh, not particularly difficult, and I'll make a little film in the future on how to do this. So generally flapper valves don't have to be changed very often and they certainly don't have to be removed for cleaning. General cleaning and maintenance will be more than enough to keep these in good condition. So now we'll do a little film on a small quick inner barrel service just to keep the operation of the DSV at optimal. Most people will generally wait until, uh, until it becomes stiff or difficult to operate if you do this at a regular basis, even before it comes a problem, it will never become a problem. So this little film will just show you how to, to do that quickly and efficiently. Okay, today I'm gonna show you how to do a quick barrel service on the Aurora DSV. Now most people might wait to do this service until the barrel becomes stiff or difficult to use, but uh, I think it's best to do this every two or three weeks just to make sure that it's always operational and smooth working. Okay, to do this service is very simple. Very few tools are required. The tools that you need are a crosshead screwdriver, which is a PosiDrive number one, a flat headed screwdriver with a, probably a six millimeter tip, a clean cloth, and of course, new lubricant or oxygen grease. Step one will be to partially remove the small cross-headed screw here which holds the hose connector screw in position. It's a little bit similar to the AP DSV. You don't need to remove it completely, that'll avoid you losing this little screw. After half unscrewing the retaining screw, you can turn the DSV over and with the flat-headed screwdriver, you can remove the barrel retaining screw which stops the barrel over-rotating it only needs to remove halfway again to avoid losing the screw. It can remain partially in position. After having done that, you can unscrew the hose retaining screw on this side and remove it complete with the hose connector. This can be put to one side because we're not doing a service on this particular part of the, the unit. Okay, once the hose screw has been removed, then the the rest of the barrel can be removed from the unit. Just place carefully the color coding discs to one side and then the unit is ready to clean. Okay, for this service we're just going to clean with a clean cloth, taking off all the old grease and any grit or sand particles that have entered the unit. There's no need to use detergents at this stage. This I would advise to do more on a full service of the unit. This is just an interim quick service 
to keep the barrel operational and functioning 100%. Okay, now we're going to clean the inner part of the outer barrel. Try and clean off all the grease and any grit. You can do a small inner barrel check here to check for deep scratches, minor scratches. I'm not going to affect the performance of the DSV. As you can see here, there's a second stage attached to the outer barrel, which is permanently fixed to the outer barrel. This cannot be removed by the end user without training, as there is a special sequence for reassembly for this. If you need to do servicing on the second stage, then it can be done just like any other Apex second stage with Apex parts. This is completely sanded, second stage, mated to the DSV. Now we can do the reassembly stages. Okay, one thing I'd like to explain here which you will see on removal of the barrel is there are no mushroom valves in the ends of the barrel. The Aurora has a special valve assembly which is built inside the inner barrel. It's an angled valve. This cannot be removed by the user and remains in position for the life of the DSV. The flappers can be removed but this is a removal service which I will do at another time. Uh, it's not difficult, but you have to be a little bit more careful than the normal way to change mushroom valves. So now we'll go over to the reassembly of the inner barrel. So first we put on the color coding disc. As you can see, it's uh, it's a green one. It's, it has to be uh, on the same side as the green screw. And in fact, the flapper valve inside is also green, which you can see through the... the uh, the mouthpiece opening. So after that's been done then we'll put some grease on the outer barrel. Don't be afraid of using enough of uh, grease. You can't really hurt it and it's going to be much smoother if you use enough. We don't have to be too worried about using too much grease. So that's the outer, inner barrel. Now we're going to grease up the outer barrel, or the inside of the outer barrel. You don't need to put too much in here, it's just to make sure the O-rings slide nicely in position. Okay, so after greasing both parts of the DSV, we can start reassembly. Now it's quite important here to align the inner barrel locking groove, which you can see here, to the outer barrel locking screw. So align these pretty much together and slide carefully the inner barrel in and push it until it clicks into position. After that, you can lock the inner barrel already. Now this is a plastic screw, so you don't need to over tighten it, but it will reduce the chances of stripping any threads on the Delarin part of the unit. Once the white screw is pretty much level with the outer part of the outer barrel then that's more than enough and as you can see if you use the lever you already have a nice smooth action. Okay so now we can start with final assembly. Important here is to put the DSV in closed circuit mode before the last part of the assembly. We can put on the color coding ring, which is blue in this case, and start screwing on the hose retaining screw. Now very important here is, as you'll see in closed circuit mode, that the screw and the color coding dot are perfectly aligned, and it's very important on the opposite side to also make sure that these are perfectly aligned. This ensures that the hose retaining screw is in the correct position. Tighten down the retaining screw and the unit is completely reassembled and in 100% working order. Okay, first 
partially remove the locking screw of the hose retaining screw, loosen it slightly. Now we can partially remove the inner barrel locking screw. Take off this retaining screw and the color coding ring. Extract the inner barrel. Thoroughly clean the inner barrel. You could take off the O-rings at this stage and re-grease them if you wanted to. But for this particular service it's not absolutely necessary. You can replace the retaining or the colour coding ring at this stage. Clean thoroughly the inner barrel. You can check for any major damage but small scratches you are obviously going to, to see that these are not affecting the performance. Now we're going to re-grease the inner barrel. Don't be skimpy on the greases. It's very important to the operation of the DSV. Smooth everything around. Now grease up the outer panel slightly. You don't need to use too much here, it's just for the correct placement of the O-rings. Line up the retaining groove with the locking screw. You can lock the inner barrel at this stage. Make sure the screw is about level. Replace the color coding ring. Screw on the hose retainer. At this stage, just make sure that the DSV is in the closed circuit position to allow you to line up the correct position of the locking screws. As you can see, this will ensure correct positioning every time. Screw down the locking screw and service is complete on the Aurora above. Right. Correct operation, smooth. Took two or three minutes. This is something you can do every two, three weeks, quicker if you need be. It's, it's just three minutes out of your life and it will never fail this way. Otherwise, if you wait until it gets stiff and it's already too late, you probably uh, damage slightly the inner barrel. Just keep it uh, in perfect working order with a two-weekly or three-weekly service. Voila.